Good morning. Praise the name of Jesus. It's a beautiful day. The Lord has made. We are happy to see such a great day. And want us to share the word of God this morning and just join me as we do this together. And shall we pray as we get started? Our Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you this day. I give you praise, glory, and adoration. You are a faithful God, you are wonderful, and you are everlasting. This is the day that you have given unto us. We are rejoicing and we are glad because we can see and just you know, thank you for giving us such a day that we shall be able to see it in, in terms of everything we're going to do, the activities and everything we're going to carry out this day, oh Father, it is in your hands. For we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. And therefore, thank you for joining me this day. I want us to share this word and uh, today I want to share about forgiveness 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 um i'll quote in the bible in the book of matthew 6 and verses 14 you know when you forgive others the lord will also forgive you and the bible says matthew 6 14 for if you forgive other people when they sin against you your heavenly father will also forgive you for if you forgive other people when they sin against you your heavenly father will also forgive you you know it's not easy to forgive someone who has wronged you but god has spoken to us this morning and says if you forgive others for what they have sinned against your father will forgive you as well and are there times we find ourselves holding so much on something that we were supposed to forgive others are there times you find yourself you know having held into issues for so long and you're not willing to forgive that you're not willing to let go well this morning i want us to ponder on this word we need to forgive and what are the benefits of forgiving you know when you forgive people or you forgive someone who has wronged you you find peace of mind and also you're able to guard your heart when you guard your heart because it flows from it it flows the issues of life it is good for us to forgive and let go even those things which are very hard to let go and there are people who have been holding things for so long many years you're holding on something and you're saying this one i will never forget about this they did this something wrong to me but i don't want to forget this because it was so hurtful and well i understand where you're coming from because people can actually wrong you until you get to a place where you no longer want to see them, not even want to hear them, you no longer want to have anything to do with them, because they did what was very wrong and what was not pleasing at all. But God has said this, forgive them, even if they wronged against you, because I will also forgive you. Now, you can imagine, you, if you not forgive that person, your father is also still holding that forgiveness for you. And remember, we are human in nature. Because sometimes we can utter things without understanding and in our human nature we can cross lines and paths where we are not supposed to we can speak things which were very ill against our friends against our neighbors against our colleagues and you find these things can actually go a long way there are some jokes the people like joking and there are some jokes you can make with it which can really hurt someone without knowing as I told you earlier, we are very different. There are people who are very good in joking and they let go very fast. While there are others who are not very good to let go. They don't take jokes easily. They take everything serious. So it is important for you to note, get to understand how your friends act to some issues. There are some who are very, very, you know, uh, sensitive with information. That you might say something and it can really go a long way. It can hurt them. It can make them feel so bad. So I think the best way you need to act on an issue is to ensure that get to be very sensitive about your surrounding. Get to understand that whatever you are saying can have an ill, uh, can be very sensitive to someone else and can go a long way to make their life a little bit, you know, uh, insensitive. But this morning God is saying let's forgive because our Father forgave us. And I'm quoting the book of um, this should be Colossians 3 and verses 13. And the Bible says this, Bear with each other and forgive one another. If any of you has a grievance against someone, 
forbearing one another and forgiving one another if any man has a quarrel. When you bear with each other, because, you know, just the same way someone wronged against you, you can also wrong someone else somewhere. But it takes a heart of God to go and say, I forgive you and I let go. Are we willing to forgive someone this day? And just saying, it happened. I didn't, you know, it, I didn't expect that to happen, but I felt very bad about it. But because God has given us this word this morning, I think it's just important for us to go back and let go everything. And you know what happens when you let go? Your heart has peace. Your mind has peace. You get a new fresh refreshment in your spirit because you are letting go those things. And remember, these things become burdensome in your heart. If you don't know, when you keep issues and burning issues in your heart, they become so heavy and you'll find yourself, you know, holding and making this thing unbearable to you. And I want to challenge you this morning. Why don't you let go all these things and just let God be? Let God take control. Let God help you to have that peace in your life. Because you cannot be living a life full of burdens in your heart and your spirit. You can decide to choose today and decide to let go and begin to start a new life in Christ. The Bible says in him we live, we move. And you can't live and move if you are still holding on to the past. You're still holding on someone. Someone messed your marriage. Someone messed your, you know, your family. Someone messed your children. Someone did very, something wrong. Someone should changed you. Someone, you know, took away your position. And, you know, there are so many issues which come with, uh, you know, uh, forgiveness, which come with hatred and jealousy, which come with that kind of a thing. But people are different. People are different in character and personality. But we need to understand that God has all good plans for us. In our shortcomings, he always is merciful to take away all those burdens and he gives us a new start. Forgive another, one another. Bear with each other. Let go those problems. Let go those challenges. Let your spirit be free. Be liberal. You know, have freedom in Christ. When you do this, you'll find even progression, advancing and going to the next level becomes very easy. But you're still holding on those things which were very hurtful. You still talk about this issue. You still talk about it when you meet a friend, when you meet a neighbor, when you meet a colleague. You still, you know, bring up these issues over and over then it becomes very hard for you to move. And let me tell you the truth is, there are blessings which come with forgiveness. Choose to forgive someone and the Lord is going to bless you. He will bless you with long life. He will sustain you. He will be able to walk with you in those paths you could not even imagine. Because even as you do that on holding on people's issues for so long, the truth is, you will never know how to progress or move from where you are and many people are suffering in this area there are people who are still hurting there are people who are still finding it very hard to let go some things which were done to them in some years ago am i talking to you this morning and you're saying i know very well my father did this to me my mom did this to me my sister my own blood sister did this to me you know my brother did this to me. My own cousin did this to me. My own boss, who I had trusted so much, did this to me. And every time you look at this person, you just have this kind of a feeling, which is very bad, and it just spoils your mood. It just makes you feel uncomfortable. You feel like you don't want to, you know, talk anything about them because you feel there's so much heaviness in your spirit. This day is the day to let go. I know I say this and you just say, Pasi, it's meant not very easy to let go. But I want to tell you, it is easy to let go when you allow Christ to help you. Because doing it on your own is very hard. By the way, it's very hard. And I said I understand because I know, I personally have gone through such a path. But I had to let go. So as someone who, I, you know, had my money. And I kept asking, I kept asking, I kept asking. I kept trying to engage the authorities. But everything failed. And God spoke to me that I should let go. When I let go and I forgave them, whatever place they went, God also, you know, opened my doors. And I got three times of what I had lost. And therefore, just like I did that, you can also choose to forgive someone today. Let them go. Let them out of your spirit. Maybe it's a boyfriend who heart broke you. And you're saying, he will never know, you know, anything good. 
He will never progress. He will never advance his life. He will never get married. You know, those utterances are very bad. I spoke earlier about the power of the tongue. Don't let those things suppress you and bring death and curse in your life. Let them go. And you shall find peace in your heart. You shall find peace in your mind. You shall advance in your things. Everything is going to flow well because today you are saying, I am letting everything go in my heart and I'm letting God take over. I want us to pray with you this morning and telling God, God, I forgive them. Whatever they did to me, you are the only one who can be able to do what? To forgive them. And I walk with you, I want to walk with you this morning in prayer. And we join together in this, you know, prayer of agreement that you are going to let go and let your spirit be free from all that that was damaging you and making you feel you're in the same spot. God bless you as we want to pray. Please join me in this prayer this morning as we just want to pray and tell God, God, you know what I feel right now. Even as I say these things, there are some things which are just coming in your mind and they're becoming very fresh. Please, it's time for them for you to let go and let God do this for us. God is faithful. Thank you, Jesus. Shall we pray? Hakuna Mungu kama wewe Hakuna popote Hakuna mwenye ishara kubwa Kama uwe ewe Mungu Hakuna Mwenye ishara kubwa Kama uwe ewe mungu oh, Si kwa majeshi Wala silaha Ni kwa roho Mtakantifu Nguvu za giza zimeshindwa kwa jina la Bwana Yesu Nguvu za giza zimeshindwa kwa jina la Bwana Yesu our Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you this morning. Father, thank you for the word you've given to us, that we should forgive others who wronged us and who sinned against us, for you shall also forgive us. I pray, Lord, for anyone who has listened and viewed this episode, that, Lord, you're going to help them to forgive all those burdens that they are carrying in their heart. Today, we let them go. We free our mind, we free our spirit, Lord, from every burden that we have carried for many years. Those who hurt us, O oh God, in relationships, those who hurt us, O oh God, in marriage, those who hurt us in employment, those who hurt us in business, those who have hurt us, O oh God, even in family and, and in, our, in, our own, in our own system, in our own support system, Lord. I pray that, Lord, may you forgive everyone who did this, my Father. To people who are watching, my God, those who have held so much for many years today, by the grace of the Most High God, let their spirit be free. Give them peace of mind today. Even as they pronounce this word, Father, they, you're giving them a refreshment. You give them fresh joy. Give them happiness again. Give them freedom from every challenge and what they have encountered. This is the day the Lord has made. We choose to forgive anyone who wronged us in the past. We begin a new start in your love, in your forgiveness. I thank you, Father, because the blessings of forgiveness shall come into us today as we thank you because you are with us. And therefore, we give you praise, we give you glory and honor, and in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray and believe. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for joining us. Until again, uh, next as we're going to hear God's word again, God bless you. Have a fantastic and blessed week. Amen.